what's up guys brian here and i'm back again with another awesome video so this video is part two should i call it part two or part three because i already made like part two yesterday so this video is part three of the color grading series that i started in my last two videos this idea came to me after i made that video so i didn't really like say that video was part one but this is part two in that this is a follow-up to that video in that video i showed you guys how to get this amazing teal and orange color grade to that image or any image that you may want to get a teal and orange color grade to so after that i felt that we could actually play around more with colors you know most photographers don't really realize how powerful colors are in photography they just snap and focus more on screen retouching when colors is a very powerful tool and if you notice even in my channel or most of my videos are about colors because i'm trying to get photographers to see how amazing colors can affect the image so from the last two videos that i made on this image you know, if you notice we've been working with complementary colors complementary colors are colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel now why they are very powerful is that since they're opposite each other they contrast each other so once when you combine them they draw attention to the subject so as you can see here in this color wheel this is a color wheel and this is adobe color website so you can go to color.adobe.com to come across this there are so many color theories do we have like analogous where you work with colors that are just beside each other in the color wheel monochromatic which is just one single color triadic then we have complementary colors which are the ones that we are working with which are colors that are opposite each other in the color wheel so based on that if you notice this still an orange look is very popular in photography and even in movies a lot of movies use still an orange color grade that's why it's so popular and powerful because of the distinct look that it gives to the image or footage so in this video we are going to move in that same phase i'm going to challenge myself to change from that teal and orange look that i got yesterday to a blue and yellow look if you notice blue and yellow are opposite each other in the color wheel and they are even similar to the teal and orange now this is part two of this color grade challenge that i'm giving myself there might be a part three if i want to make that so if you want me to know just tell me you know currently i'm uploading videos daily so by tomorrow the next video should be up and that's when you know if i decided to make part three so part three would just be another color combination in this color wheel that's if i decide to make them but currently we are going to play around with blues and yellows so these are the colors we are going to combine so you see that although the image looked good in teal and orange it will still look great in blues and yellows so you don't just limit yourself to the colors you had when you took the picture now if you understand colors i will advise you to go and read about colors you know the different color theories like the triad the complementary and others that i just mentioned because i'm not going to explain them in this video read about them that way to help you to plan your shoot better and even almost anything that you do you, you do with colors it will help you to understand it better so now this video will be in two parts the first part will be us transitioning from the teal and orange look that we had yesterday to this blue and yellow look then the second part which will still be in the same video don't worry i'm not going to break it into two separate videos the second part will be us moving from the raw image to the blue and yellow look so that if you don't have a teal and orange image that you're transitioning from at least you know how to do it from a raw image so with all that said let's begin since it will be really hard to look at these colors and then go back to photoshop to color grade and come back and compare to see whether they are the same i'm going to actually show you how to you know get these colors there in photoshop there are different ways the first way is that you can just take a, a screenshot of, a screenshot of this you know just screenshot it and save it and then open it in photoshop that way you can just toggle between the two windows let me close this window then the second way is that there is this extension in photoshop that helps you with that so if you go to windows 
under extension you see adobe color themes if you click on it you see it here so once you open it you will see this color wheel there and you can play around with the different colors the same thing you saw in adobe web adobe color website is also here in photoshop so you can just move around to you know see the colors and then compare it. so this is the one that we had yesterday which is the teal and orange color grade here so this amazing image was shot by an amazing photographer called i'll be chime he's on instagram and i'll drop a link to his instagram account down in the description box so you can go check him out and also give him a follow so let's get straight to the color grading as i've talked a lot already so these are the let me show you what you're going to get at the end this is the result we are going to achieve at the end this is the blue and the orange look that we are going for see the blue and orange exact same thing here so i'll just delete this one so that we can start from the beginning first thing i'm going to do is to select my skin tones because i don't want it to be influenced or affected by the colors that i'm about to change you know if um, the colors affect this her skin she will end up looking like an alien i'll just make selection of only the skin now if you don't know how to make selection in photoshop i made a video on that so i'll drop a link to it in the description box so you can go check it out i'm not going to explain how to make selection in this particular video okay so i'm done with making the selection the next thing i'm going to do is to feather it so that the edges will be smooth not the transition at the edges will be smooth not hard so i'll make my feather pixels thin click on ok so let me just create a groovy and call it blue and yellow because that's the colors we are going for then i'll create a mask here so that anything i'm doing i'll invert the mask so that anything i'm doing will only affect the background and not the skin you see the edges are very soft but let me just subtract some part of the hair so that the transition will be even better okay i've done that the next thing we are going to do now is to add the hue and saturation adjustment layer now there are many tools you could use to do this color grade but to me i think hue and saturation will just work the best for this particular image since we have already you know limited the colors to just teal and orange already so i'll go to here and click on hue and saturation and since i don't really know which channel these colors fall into i'll use the tool that is in the hue and saturation adjustment layer to find that out so i'll click on this you know this hand symbol here and then i'll click on this uh on this uh, jacket now it has changed to the channel that the colors there are, are in so it's under the cyan see it's under the cyan so i'm going to now change the hue of the cyan to give me the look that i'm going for let me just open that yeah this is it so that we can see the colors that, the color that we are going for and compare it so i'm going to make the jacket to be blue because it is easier to change the from teal to blue than it is to change from teal to yellow so i'll just move it i think this color now looks close to this other one i think they look close to each other but it's still kind of much let me keep it at 28 yeah that looks good then i will i'll increase the saturation to nine and then bring down the lightness that way it won't be too bright to just look a little bit better yeah so you see we've gotten blue let me show you we've gotten from this to this already in just one slider so now that we've gotten our blues i'll still use this sim like this hand symbol again to pick this color on the building which is the second color that we have in the picture so i'll pick it and as you can see it falls under reds so under the reds i also move the hue to let me say plus 16 yeah see this plus 16 is now yellow it looks similar to this one then i'll increase the saturation to let me say 26 yeah that is much better then reduce the lightness to around 11 
most of the time when you are doing all these things you don't have to like paint the color very vibrant vibrant you can make it very subtle depending on the image you are working with and the look you are going for so it doesn't have to be like bright bright it can still be very subtle even in this adobe color wheel you can bring down this some of these colors to make them more subtle and stuff like that yeah so that's another thing then finally i'll just go back to the master and you know desaturate it a little bit let's just say minus 23 this will affect both the the blues and the yellows so that is it let me show you this is before this is after now about what i said earlier on you notice it is not affecting the skin let me turn off this mask that i created and you see that it will affect the skin color so you can see it's affecting the skin color here but when i turn it on it doesn't affect the skin color which is very important which was why i made the mask in the first place i don't want that to look like an alien to further fine tune this i'll add another adjustment layer selective color when you are doing your own color grade you can add as many layers that you want as far as you know what you are doing and tweak it to your own satisfaction it's all about what looks good to you and fits into the color palette so i'm going to just play around with this so all i'm doing is just to make the yellow look more yellow then under my reds i'll just tweak it just a little bit then we'll go to the cyans since the blues actually fall under cyan take it to 10 20 really want that blue to you know show minus 30 and then 5 so that it will be more contrasting so let me show you what that did this is before this is after you see it makes the blue actually look more like this one so the final layer i'm going to add here for this image is the color balance layer so i'll just under the shadows i'll just add more blues again just a little and also subtract some you know reds that is adding some science then under the highlight i'll do the same thing just add some blues and then and then some yellows too so that is it let me show you guys this is before this is after this look even looks better to me than the teal and orange that we had before that was looking really great so this is before and after so that's it i'll go ahead and save this image you see how beautiful a different color grade on the same exact image looks and since they are opposite each other on the color wheel they really you know complement each other and make the contrast to really be there in terms of colors so i'm going to save this one now okay let me mention another thing if at the end of your color grade your skin tone doesn't really fit in you can click on the mask here under properties you bring down the density that way the colors will affect the skin tone just a little bit don't take it to the extreme as you can see here. just reduce it a little bit more so that the person will fit into the new color grade as you can see the colors are now affecting the skin just a little bit and she looks more like she was there on the scene so um since we are done with the first section of this video let's move on to the second section where we actually color grade from the raw file to the finished look okay so i've opened up the raw file in photoshop this is you know the raw file still having that color grade from the former image this is the like the actual raw file and this is still having the looks from the previous color grade what i'm going to do here is to is to actually reset the layers that were responsible for the color grade and do the color grade again i won't change this other side because i don't want to start making all this preliminary adjustment all over again so i'll come to my split tone here reset it i'll go to my hsl sliders and reset it 
yep then i'll go to color calibration and reset it too so those were the three layers that were really responsible for the color grade and now as you can see the image looks just like the raw file but just with a few adjustments which are mainly the light adjustment here if you want to see how i made the adjustment in this picture like the initial adjustments go and check out that my first video i'll drop a link to it in the description box uh you know remember we use the adjustment brush to lower the exposure on the sky and other elements so i won't also touch that in this video so to the first step to getting the color grade that we want is to examine the image now this image already looks close to complementary colors like the the color tones as you can see we just have um orange here we have yellow here we have blue here we have this is this green that she's wearing they are very close to each other in the color wheel so it will be easier to tweak them what would have been harder would have been if the colors were like really distant from each other so since they are kind of close to each other getting them all to fit into the same color range would not be that hard so the first thing i'm going to do is the the to change the hue of the of the aqua so the aqua what she's wearing falls under aqua so i'll take it to the extreme so that it will go close to blue as you can see what she's wearing now very close to blue it may not be perfect here but when we are tweaking it in photoshop we'll get it to be exactly where we want you know there's only so much you can do with the raw processing program so i'm going to also change the hue of the colors in the background to look like what she's wearing so as you can see the two of them are actually looking alike the next thing i'm going to do is to mess around with if you know the orange here is not looking like the yellow here in the background so i'm going to fix that so to fix that i'm actually going to adjust this orange here take it to this side as you can see it's looking close to this other color here then let me see under yellows that's where the coconut falls so i'll just take it to this other side let me see yeah i'll take it here and as you can see the the coconut is now looking close to orange let me show you before after we we'll also play around with the saturations let me bump up the saturations of these ones okay another thing i'm going to adjust is the green the coconut also falls under green so i'll just take it to this other side which will make it more yellow as you can see we have gotten from this to this already which already looks like the tones are now in place the blues then the yellows so let me see under my split toning tab here i think i'll just play around a little bit more under the shadows i'll add blue let me take this to blue i'll increase the saturation first of all let me take it to blue i think that blue looks okay i'll bring down the saturation to like five then under highlight i'll add some warmth which is yellow then bring down the saturation to around five and let me show you this is before this is after barely noticeable you can still play around with the balance so that one will overwhelm the other one then another place i'm going to make adjustment is under the tint like under the calibration here just to boost the vibrance of the colors so i increase the saturation let me take it to 20 let me check if i change the hue will it really affect much yeah i think changing the hue here affects so i'll take it to five then on like greens i also boost that let me take it to 10 does changing the hue affect the image changing the hue of the greens actually affects the jacket so i also change that then under red saturation again just to take the vibrance of the image up if you see the red is really affecting the yellows that we have here then primary colors let me check 
okay that makes it even more yellow then under shadows I'm just add some tint so that our skin tone will look okay because it's looking weird now now I have another piece of advice for you guys if you are doing some extreme color grade like this and it affects the skin what you can do is open the image twice and then mask out the skin that way any effects you make on the the colors won't affect the skin tone i'll show you guys what i mean so having done those few things i think i've gotten to the point that i'm satisfied with it we'll now open it in photoshop and tweak it till we get it to where we want it to be at the end so let me show you let me toggle the before and after this is the before and this is the after really amazing there's a lot you can do once you just understand colors so let me just increase the vibrance to 10 yeah i need that pop then the next thing i'm going to do is to open the image so i'll click on open image we've opened the image in photoshop if you look at this image you notice that the color really affects our skin tone like our hand and our face and other stuff like that so i'm going to do that stuff i told you about i'll open the image again and then get rid of the color grade that i made and open the image and then mask out our skin i know it might be confusing you so let me just do it okay so i don't want to open the image as a separate document i just want to you know like place it on top of this other one so to do that i'll just go to file under file i'll click on place embedded i'll select the picture and click on place you see it has opened up in camera roll once again so what i'm going to do now is to get rid of the color grid so i'll just turn this i'll reset this layer i'll go to my split tuning reset the layer I'll go to my color calibration and reset the layer. I think those were the places that we played around with. Let me see. Before, after. So, before I do this, let me just save this color grid for future use. Okay, I've saved that. Having done that, let me undo it again. So this is it. I'll now click on OK. The layer has been placed on top of the other one. Let me zoom out and align it. Yeah, they are now exactly the same. I'll just click on OK. Now if I do before, like if I turn off this layer, as you can see, it's the one on top. But let it not still confuse you. I'll go back to this other selection that I made. I don't want to start making selection all over again. Let me just save it. Okay, I actually saved the selection to this other um to this other document here. And under it, I'll just call it body. And under channel, let it just be any channel. I don't even know. Let me just create a new channel call it body click on ok now I'll come to this image select load selection and select body here and click on ok as you can see the selection has been made I will now apply that mask to this image so I'll invert it and there you go you see the skin tone now looks ok let me show you because we are importing the skin tone from an image that has not been color graded to affect it so as you can see the skin tone now look natural so that's a, a way of maintaining the skin tone even when you you know mess around with the colors so the next thing i'm going to do now is to there were some things we did on the on the other picture that i don't think we, should we really do them in this picture no we shouldn't like cleaning up the background and other stuff since this, this is not a retouching picture so i'll just go straight to the color adjustment so that we can be done with this video already so i'll still use my hue and saturation again 
use my color picker select the color range is under cyan let me open my you know color tool again so that we can compare it's not really there yet yeah i think we are getting there uh, that looks good let me take 10 looks good you can see it really matches this color here so i'll should i make it more saturated let me make it more saturated then lightness i think lightness looks better let me keep it at five then i also pick my colors here this color here let me make my picker tool this red here it's not part of the coloring so i'll just desaturate it oh my god it's actually affecting the entire image so i'll, I'll, make, I'll do that one later on i forgot to even add my mask on this image like to mask the skin tone so i'll duplicate that mask and invert it so that anything we are doing remember what i did before so that anything we are doing here will not affect the skin tone so let's now affect the yellows i'll do i'll use my picker tool again select the color range is under red and then we'll tweak it let me check which direction will look better okay i think taking it towards this other side makes it really yellow so plus five looks fine to me is that really yellow i don't really know colors so i think plus five is okay then i'll bump up the saturation let me take it to something like 25 okay let me make it 15 then let me see lightness or i think i'll just add some take away some lightness minus nine looks okay to me let me see this is before this is after no i think i'm not still satisfied with the color does this look like this i think it does before after so we've gotten the the colors that we were looking for so i'll go i'm going to fine tune it now i'll go to my selective color tool you can use any tool that you normally use for your color grading let me apply this mask let's not forget that so that the skin tone won't be affected So I've tweaked it to make the blue look like more blue. So should I let me it's still under yellows. Is it under yellows or red? I think it's under red that will play around with the yellows. Okay, I'll add some blacks to it. Let me just tweak it under yellows and see if it will be affected. Yeah. The yellow channel affected here. So I'll just play around with it again. I think that is it for the color for the selective color adjustment i'll go to my color balance once again and play around with the shadows and the highlights let me just hide this temporarily for the shadows i think some blues will really look good in it yeah then for the highlights let me play around with it you always like adding cyan to my highlights it always makes the image much better yeah i think that looks good or should i add some orange you know i think blues look looks better to me but i still feel like adding orange let me just add orange i won't just touch this like that it doesn't look good so let's see before after before after let me apply this mask again so that i don't affect the skin as you can see there so we've gotten the image to look from this to this so i'm just going to quickly fix this thing that is still bothering me you know me i kind of pay attention to details so i'll use the saturation layer again then i'll just use the the eyedropper tool to pick this exact color then i'll desaturate it same thing with this other one i'll 
also desaturate that because it's too saturated now i'm going to invert this mask to invert the mask just click on the mask like this layer mask icon then press the key command i on your keyboard to invert it then use your brush tool to brush the part when it's black it hides when it's white it reveals so i'll use a white brush to brush in this part and as you can see it's less distracting to me so i think that is it we've gotten the color grade that we are looking for you can fine tune it more and more and more to get it to where you actually want it to be so this is the first one i got wow this one still looks very good is it because of the the retouching that i did i think the deep colors in this one looks better than here you know this one i did some dodge and burn and other things so the image actually will look better because i i did some things in post so this one is just the color grade we can still play around with it just a little bit more to get it to exactly where we want and i think that will be under the hue let me just join the red the hues of the reds think i love that so that's where we've gotten it to be you know if i spend like 30 more minutes or less i'll get this image to look better than this so you just have to understand that and since it's for this video i don't have to get it to be perfect but that's it for this video guys i hope you learned a lot like a whole lot of things because i've talked about a lot of things in this video if you did click on the thumbs up button if you if you enjoyed the video and you are new to the channel click on the subscribe button ring the bell icon next to you so, so you get to see other awesome videos in future like when i do another episode of this color grading challenge if you have any question drop it down there in the comment section if you have any suggestion also drop it down there in the comment section remember to check out the links that i mentioned in the description box and see you guys in the next video